pop home. Hold everything. Oh my gosh. There's a florist station. A florist station. Do you guys see that? Ah! Ah! Okay. Okay. Wait, is that a new flower? I don't recognize that plant. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the official reveal trailer of The Sims 4 Seasons. Now, I was going to come in here cool as a cucumber and basically be like, you see everyone, we knew seasons would come eventually, now it's here, let's see what it has to offer, bring on the storms. I had a whole really laid back casual little speech planned and then I loaded it and I see this florist bench, oh my gosh, look, 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 okay. Okay, okay, and a greenhouse, and a greenhouse. Okay, well, hello everyone. I have seen everything I need. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for joining me as we do this little like reaction trailer, video trailer reaction to this season's announcement. Um, I'm done. I have what I want, Flora Station. I'll see you guys later. Okay, yes, I was joking. <laughs> All right, everybody, as usual, let's go ahead and I am going to be looking at this for the very first time with you guys. So we're gonna dive right on in. <gasps> she has, oh, rain, rain, how did I forget rain? Oh my gosh, that little kitty pool is so cute. Oh, snowman. I love all the little snowman raking leaves. Why is that so cute? It's such a pain in the butt to do in real life. Why is it so cute? Okay, snowball fights. Ice skating. <gasps> you stole my heart. Is this going to have as much? That looked like pine. That looked like one of my legacy sims. But is this going to have as much as uh, like Sims 3 seasons? Because I truly feel it was one of the best packs ever. All right, and then all of the Christmas stuff. Mistletoe! Oh, New Year's! What? Thanksgiving! What? What? There's... What? Oh my gosh! Bees! Bees! Oh my gosh! My farm! My green legacy farm is gonna be so cool! Oh my goodness gracious! And it looks like Sims react to the weather. Does that mean we're gonna have, like, temperature tracking again? A weather machine! Is this just bringing back all of the good things from Sims 2 and Sims 3 for, for real? Is that really how Lightning! Okay, maybe that's not a good thing, but it's awesome. Oh! <gasps> yes! That was so cool! <sighs> all right. That was a lot more exciting than I anticipated. And I have to say, I'm having a moment here really impressed. I have always been kind of like, yeah, this is nice for a lot of the Sims 4 stuff, as you guys know. Some of it, like, and a lot of it, like the jungle adventures, yes, the best ever. Uh, but I have to say everything I just saw as a Sims player from the very first original Sims when I was like eight to now, I think that was a lot of the classic stuff mished and mashed from 2 and 3 especially to create a Sims 4 experience that I think is going to be quite special. I mean, we have a florist bench for one thing. I'm looking at a greenhouse. We're going to go through this video again together. Let me know in the comments what you guys catch that I don't because there's so much to take in right now. I My heart is like pounding in my chest. I see plants everywhere. I see baskets of plants hanging out over here and down here and up here that I haven't seen before. Greenhouse setups. Suddenly half of my custom content is redundant because this is basically everything I've tried to create in the game myself. And there is definitely a florist bench. So let's see if we can get in a little bit closer on that florist bench actually. Nice and slow. So I have a moment to catch everything. Do we have swings yet? Are those swings new? Am I just like missing the rainbow obvious in the background there? I think the swings are new. And there's a dad pushing his kids on the swings. Oh, that makes me so happy. Those are some of my favorite memories from when I was a little kid. All right, I think she was messing with a new flower. I love the look of her apron, by the way, the little florist apron, that looks adorable. And if you guys notice, I'm gonna go back for a second. Nobody panic, it's okay. If you notice in the background, I can see what looks like some wall vases and some vases to go on the counter and a few reefs, a lot of really fancy reefs uh, that are hanging up on the wall in the background. I'm also having a moment trying to figure out where the is. Is this a house that was built in Willow Creek's park? This is looking a lot like Willow Creek because one of the big fears is that the Sims weather effects will only happen in one neighborhood and I know a lot of people have been worried about that. 
This is Willow Creek. Pretty sure this is Willow Creek. So I'm hoping that's a sign that we'll be able to add weather wherever we want to. Um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Let me know what you guys think. There's possibly articles just popping out left and right like daisies right now. I'm so envious of all the people who are invited to Sims Camp this year. Or I think it's just EA Play this year because hopefully they'll get to see something really good. All right, yeah, we had all the change of seasons go on in the background. Nice, nice. The kitty pool is adorable and that makes sense because we already have a big pool right and it looks like they have like either new patio stuff this looks like one of those patio umbrellas like the the bottom of it and i think some of this is like a mishmash of all the packs that have come out already uh but i think is that swimsuit new i don't i don't think i've actually ever sent my sims to a pool but i might have a lot more oomph desire to do that now that we will have like summer this little girl seems a little annoyed that there's a parent just like lounging finding rubber duckies hanging out in the pool this is an adorable little pool <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, and then we have somebody making snow angels. Uh, oh, it's the same woman. I love her hair. Is the hair new? Ooh, well, clearly the outerwear is going to be new, which is going to be really fun. I love the snowman with the little monocle. Reminds me of somebody, but I'm not sure who. And I can't tell if that's like a strip of bacon or like an actual stick for its mouth, to be honest. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they're taking selfies with the cute little snowman in the back. He is shoveling snow. What I would like to see... Oh, there's snow piled up on the, the doorway over here. What? That's so cool. But what I would really like to see uh, with all of these skills is the ability to gain, like, the athletic skill while you're doing this. Because this is hard work, right? All right, and he's raking, shoveling, raking... He looks like he's wearing possibly something new. I'm not so good with the clothes, but if you want me to identify a brand new plant, I'm your person. I got that. Uh, little girl jumping, gonna have fun inside of this pile of leaves. We have got pumpkin over here. Very nice, very nice. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> I mean, I can. That's what I was gonna say. I was gonna be like, of course we were going to have seasons, guys. It was just a matter of time. I bet this has been in development for like almost two or three years. Who knows? It's probably been worked on for so much longer than we can imagine. We just had to be patient. Here it is. And now I'm honestly blown away by the depth. <laughs> Which is so silly because I knew it was coming. <gasps> her strawberry hat is the cutest. Oh my goodness. And her little booties. Oh, I love her outfits. That's so cute. And I love watching children especially interact with the environment because I feel like being able to play with the world around them, not only on play sets, but like with the changing weather and discovering things. The toddler's playing in the sprinkler. Yes. Toddler compatible stuff for them to do. Good, good, good. I feel like kids playing outside. Is that a picnic? No, that's a mock-up picnic. I'm on to that. Almost thought it was a real picnic blanket, but it's not. Uh, all right, so they're playing. It looks like you put a bucket down and then you can play maybe, or maybe that's a decorative bucket, and they can play water balloon, which if you're a Sims 2 player, was like one of the best ways to raise relationship easily. <laughs> Just have your Sims chase each other with water balloons for forever. Her hair looks awesome. All right, now the water balloon has changed into a snowball. I like this Christmas Mart sort of setup we have in the back here. More snowmen. We've also got a big, gigantic Christmas tree. So what I really, really, really love in my Sims 2 and Sims 3 plays especially is a sense of the seasons passing because it makes me feel like my family can grow and develop and experience new things. And it helps me feel inspired like, oh, the kids are out for summer break. Where should we go this year? Those kinds of things. So this makes me really happy. Look at the little toddler waddling through the snow. Oh, it's so cute. All right. All right. Everyone's laughing. Oh, yeah, look. Okay. <gasps> Is this going to be like, is this going to be like the festival places? Okay, I don't think it's going to be, maybe. I mean, we have a weird little sign thingy over here. I'm pretty sure that boat is from uh, Willow Creek again. Here are some, like this looks like hot chocolate. This is new. So some new places to get food. Is that food or is that, I can't tell. It's so small. Food or, or like gear. It'd be really fun if you could get collectibles. Uh, I love collectibles personally. Wow, look at that spinning. And for those of you who are into my green family legacy, does this not look like my boy Pine? 
Mmm, pine, what have you done? It looks like pine! <laughs> Alright, so there is some really awesome, possibly a new skill that people could have. Alright, with dancing, maybe like ice skating. Oh, and rollerblading! How did I miss, like, over my head a roller rink? What? What? That's something I would be like, oh, they're gonna make that a game pack thing. But no, there's a roller rink. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, it looks like, look, I think this is just like a spring celebration sort of thing out front. The mailbox is a brand new awesome color. Down here, somebody is definitely working on making some florist stuff. Oh yeah, look, and they have all the little eggs lined up. And now, yeah, here's that umbrella I was looking at earlier and the kids playing on the sprinkler and here's a swing set. Now we've swapped out the uh, the pieces in the front. Uh, it looks like there's a little kid playing in what seems to be a pool back here with two palm trees. Uh, let's see, and then, oh, look at that, for spooky day, woo! Got our spooky day outfits. Lots and lots and lots of new seasonal decorations. I love the acorn reef, that's really cute. Oh my gosh. What? I'm just, the silence is me kind of being impressed because look, there's, you can, there's so many things to decorate with. <laughs> like, wow, I'm really impressed. And look at the lights. Fingers crossed that that's as easy as clicking on the front door like it was in The Sims 3 and it's not going to be something where you actually have to like manually put all that down because it really seems like I'm seeing a great mix of Sims 2 and Sims 3 like I said. All right, we've got everything laid out so that The Sims can enjoy a nice holiday. I can't tell you off the top, oops, sorry about that, off the top of my head if some of the holiday stuff is new yet. Okay, wait, hanging, ha I, I, is hanging the, is decorating the tree new? I don't recall that being something I could do with my Sims, but that might be something that just went over my head. <gasps> gift giving, wait a second, gift giving? I've wanted gift giving in this game for so long. They were giving a gift to the toddler and there's a kiss. You're in the way, get out of my way. I'm trying to look at the baby, hold its cute little box. Get out of my way. All right, well, that's really cute. Looks like a New Year's party, which is pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I, I feel really like this is freaking solid from what I'm seeing so far as a pack. I like a, a, an expansion. This is this this is hefty. I mean, look, asparagus, asparagus. I love asparagus. Uh, yeah, look, they've got like turkey. It's gonna be tofurkey in my world, but it's turkey laid out, and it's got like asparagus. We've got some really interesting looking peas. Little baby playing with her food. Uh, lots of stuff to decorate in the background. I mean, there's like a Thanksgiving whole setup here, and a leaf earring. Oh, they have heard my cry. All right, and then we've got. Oh, a little toy down there, pretty sure that's new. Or not new, um, oh, look, see, more decorations. That's what I mean, there is so much clutter. What? And the gnome, I don't know, do you know? Because I don't know, not, I, I don't know about this. Uh, all right, so we've got the gnome right here. And then we have what appears to be Father Christmas over here. And that's interesting, and the Easter Bunny. That's interesting, I am, very curious about what roles those those guys will all have to play and then a beekeeper which is kind of funny that he comes in now but here is a beekeeper and he's got some honey hives so those of us who love making farming type setups are going to be so happy i am thrilled i cannot wait to see what the florist bench is going to include and i cannot wait for the modders to expand upon it into infinity so many plants this is really cool okay decorative pieces i see some really is somebody putting succulents out in winter i have questions about that yeah and there's the palm trees i saw earlier with a little fake toucan on it that's really cute and it looks like, yeah, you can kind of see good examples of how the Sims will react to the weather in each setup that he did just there. And then there are more decorative pieces. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are there gonna be holidays? Can our Sims get notifications and celebrate the holidays again? Because again, that's something that just has always made me feel deeply attached to them and their stories. This, I love his hair, by the way. This looks cool. And the weather machine! I already forgot about the weather machine! <laughs> 
I already 100% had like clued out of the weather machine, but the weather machine, and that's one heck of an awesome outfit. And I think this is actually from uh, only Sims 2. I don't know if you have, you have the weather stone, but not the weather machine in Sims 3. So again, that mixing of my two other favorites into something special. Where is that? I'm pretty, where is this? Is this a new neighborhood? Because I didn't recognize that area. I'm on to this. Every little detail. This is so cool. I love how he turns into like... Ah, he's got spark power now. Oh, that's, that's really cool. Sorry you got struck by lightning, dude. But like... How cool would it be if you could have like superpowers now? And you could go be like a superhero? It probably only lasts a little while, but geez, that would be amazing if you could have a new career. And ironically, it's like being a superhero. <laughs> that would be really fun. Oh, well, all right, guys. Available June 22nd. Wait, oh my gosh, that sounded really far away in my head. And I realized that's a month from now. <laughs> I know what we are going to be busy doing this summer. Will I even have a chance to prepare my cow plant legacy? Who knows, my friends? But I hope you are all pretty excited for this. I have to say, uh, on the like official side of things, like my official true blue feelings, this is a hefty pack. It looks like a hefty pack on the surface. I will be very excited to dive into more details about what it's going to be. Of course, I'm going to be playing it. I am a Sims addict, but I have to say, like, it, I kind of worried it would just be like, oh, here's a little bit of rain. Here's a little bit of snow. Here's a, like some leaves change their texture color. I thought like, what if it's going to be that simple? I was a little worried. I wanted a more complex world by adding in seasons. And I feel like this really has delivered to be completely honest. Uh, and let me know what you guys think. I'm really curious about that. And if we find out any more big information or details in the next month, I will try to dive in and share more with you. But so far, Far, I feel like this is going to finally give our Sims a chance not to quite be so suspended in time as they have been for so long. I don't know if a lot of you have felt like this, but with Sims 4, sometimes I have felt like my Sims, not just because I play so slowly, but like my Sims 4 world is sort of like trapped in some sort of Technicolor, Pleasantville TV show where nothing ever really advances or changes very much. There's not a sense of time passing. There's not a sense of that struggle between the Sim and the environment around them to kind of build a life story. And I feel like I've really had to kind of fill in those gaps myself with storytelling, which is fine. But there's something about having seasons, having traditions, having times on a calendar to look forward to that I feel really helps to provide a sense of growth and progression. And I'm really hoping that that is what this pack will kind of help to add in. So let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty excited. I'm off to go scour the internet for more clues and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.